Welcome to this video. Risk management is one of the key components of trading and also one of the most overlooked aspects. In this video, we will look at some of the key aspects of FX trading that can significantly affect your risk. Leverage One of the, the major risks of Forex trading is the high leverage offered in Forex markets. Although such high leverages look very enticing, a couple of trades gone wrong could easily wipe out your entire account. Say you have $1,000 cash as equity and 1 to 100 leverage. This means you can take positions worth $100,000, or 100 times of your equity. If you make an incorrect trade in euro to US dollar, and say a movement of 100 pips goes against your position, then it leads to a loss of $1,000, that is, your entire equity in the account. Example on screen shows the calculations. The year USD was bought at 1.0000. The current price of your USD is 0.9900. Loss per dollar is $0.01, dollars, or 1 cent. Loss on $1,000 of equity, with no leverage is $10. Loss on $1,000 of equity, with full leverage is $1,000. Hence, it is recommended to, size your trade appropriately and only when you are very certain of making a profitable trade. Stop loss. Stop losses are set by traders to contain the amount of money that they could lose in a single trade. Stop losses could also be set on an overall portfolio basis. Let us say that you are trading the three pairs, US dollar to pound sterling, pound sterling to euro, and euro to US dollar. The individual stop loss for each pair is $100, then it means that you would stop trading a particular pair if the loss exceeds $100. In another case, let us say that the overall portfolio stop loss is $200. When and if you incur a combined loss of $200, then you will have to stop trading all the three pairs, even if the individual stop loss criterion is not triggered. Setting the right stop loss is very important for every trader. Most traders prefer to set a static, or fixed stop loss for every trade. This stop loss usually reflects the risk appetite of the trader, and explains how much the trader is willing to lose in a given trade. Static stop loss risks triggering stops, when the market is volatile. To avoid such a situation, it is advisable to have a stop loss that is proportional to the volatility of the market. This is called a dynamic stop loss. Let us look at an example where we are trading euro to US dollar at the same price, but with different volatilities, then the corresponding stop losses are as shown here. For this video, we will end here.